guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. And we're going to do a deep dive into Cherno here. And um, we're going to, I'm going to be showcasing to you guys what is her extent of her use of her damage and her abilities. We're going to start off with taking a look again of her skills. Um, taking a look at the build that I have currently and when we do a demo later we will take a look at how much damage she can output and you'll be surprised guys on how versatile she is and uh, let's go first with her skills starting off with Soul's Bane okay so most of her skills are chaos damage or all of it um, this is going to be the meat of her kit, her standard skill. So you have to be able to understand how this works for you to be able to maximize her eventually. So this is a cooldown of three seconds, which is short. So if you wish to deploy more um, self-loathing uh, vortices or, or void, not vortices, so, uh, I was talking about vertices, or void of self-loathing, if you need to deploy um, faster than three seconds, then you need to do to get to get more skill cooldown um, to lessen the skill cooldown for the skill. But three seconds is actually, I think, enough. Um, I've tried it, and uh, you don't really need to lower the cooldown unless you really want it to. Energy cost is at twelve, so we start off with a self-loathing uh, void that you can create. These are kind of circ orbs that deals um, damage over time inflicts targets with AOE with a total of 30 stacks of enmity so enmity is um, I'm gonna explain it later so um, this also plays part in conjunction with uh, the void so more or less as a target remains in the AOE it inflicts additional one stack of enmity every second it does damage over time this effect that does not stack up to three void of self-loathing can uh, loathing can exist on the field at once. We'll do that later. We'll demo that again. As you cast or you you summon another one, the fourth one, the first one that you did or you casted or you summoned or you made will disappear. Okay, so enmity has a duration of 25 seconds, dealing one instance of chaos damage to the target every 0.5 seconds. So this damage is not affected by a weak spot or fortified parts effect. If you can remember this, so um, it's not affected by weak spot. So again, if it's a, it's if it's a, it's gonna play out later more on armored units. That's why I'm saying. So it's gonna nullify that advantage of armored units. That is what I'm saying. Enmity is counted as a kind of dazed effect that can have up to 300 stacks. So 300 stacks is the max because you can actually detonate that void and deal a lot of damage through enmity. Okay, when the void of self-loading is on the field, Cherno can charge the void of self-loading to pull enemies in and detonate it. So you just have to hold down your standard skill button until um until you can detonate it so we'll do a sample again with that as well can also charge with while the skill is in cooldown while charging damage dealt to enemy becomes more frequent when void of self-floating is detonated deals one instance of chaos damage to targets around cherno and void of self-loading this damage is counted as a damage dealt to enmity and clears all enmity stacks on them. As soon as you detonate, you reset all your charges as well. So after charging, resets the cooldown of Soul's Bane and restores 12s energy for Cherno's per void of so self-loading detonated. Okay, here are the modifiers for the damage. Void of self-loading duration is 45 seconds. That is a lot actually, guys. Uh, it's going to stay there and eliminate your enemies even before it expires trust me damage dealt to the creation of void of self-loading is 50 percent of churno's attack so churn attack should be high plus 52 uh enmity damage frequency during ch charging one instance of chaos damage per 
0.25 seconds detonation damage, 9% of Churn's attack, times the number of stacks on enmity on the target. So enmity max is 300. So again, the higher the stacks, the higher the damage. So this is 9% of the attack. So the higher the attack, again, the higher the damage as well. So when you open both, when the target has full stacks of enmity, increases final damage of detonation to the target by plus 20%, which is really, 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 really good. When an equipped with a chaos weapon, that is why you need at least a chaos weapon, the shots that ricochet will inflict the target with two stacks of enmity. That is why armored units are going to to really, really hate Cherno 5-star or Cherno Enigma. So let's go to the support skill. Support skill is, is, is a plus. Basically, you'll be using her as your main DPS. You won't be using her much as your um, support uh, operative. But when you do turn and knock targets into the air, dealing chaos damage and applying slow to targets for two seconds. Hit targets are then inflicted with 10 stacks of shimmer. After a three second shimmer, begins to disappear by one stack per second. When a shot hits a target with shimmer, detonates all targets with shimmer and extra chaos damage. So... Again, extra damage if they have Shimmer. Knock up damage. So they, they rise up to the air. Deals 150% of Churn's attack plus 288. Shimmer detonation damage per stack is 60% of Churn's attack plus 67. So increase AoE with Rising Race if you've opened the skill and decrease the appearance of Shimmer by 50% if you've opened the second one. So again, this is just a plus. We won't concentrate on this in terms of... Um, we, we, we could open up this later in her skills. We will showcase every skill, by the way. But we'll be focusing on the standard skill because that is the meat of her abilities. This one is her ultimate. So cooldown is 40 seconds. Your energy cost is 60. The Cherno summons an AoE attack from above that deals chaos damage to targets and inflicts them with 100 stacks of enmity for 25 seconds. This one, however, is actually kind of medium range to short distance. So be careful in using this. Same with your support. Uh, the standard scale has tremendous distance, guys. So you can do the void um, from afar um, as you start your run. So again, going back to the ultimate, this is going to be from medium to short range. Um, just make sure that you reach your opponent. Or you wouldn't range before you use this. So, and also for the Deus alignment. So, again, you when Cherno shoots a target, inflicts two stacks of enmity for 25 seconds, deals chaos damage equal to 30% of Cherno's attack every 0.5 seconds for each alignment index. So, again, it would be best if you have. Um, higher alignment index for the skill to deal more damage. We'll do a complete guide anyway after this video. So let's move to my build. So this is my Cherno. Currently I'm at 4,117. That could be better. There are some points in you know in her kit that I haven't uh, uh, what do you call this tinkered with yet. Weapon wise. I will do again a recommendation on which weapon is good. But for me, I used her ultimate weapon again. Higher buff to her chaos damage, obviously. That is why. That's the only obvious reason that I'm telling you now. We're going to discuss that in the build guide. For her logistics, I obviously got um, her the new uh, logistics squad. So the new logistics squad is going to be really for her because this is um go, th this caters to dazed effects so ignores target's defense as well so we're gonna do more of a more in-depth discussion on the build guide for this one so so far i haven't really tinkered with the talent here these are mostly default so we'll do a more um, you know, uh, more tinkering as we go along with this um, content. So manifestation wise, I don't have anything open. We'll again, we'll discuss this once we have. So it's zero at this point. I haven't opened even one. I'm just showing you my build. At least you could compare if you're going to be at this point in the build. This is your outcome in terms of damage later. So I've opened everything because I have the resources so with all that said let's do a sample run 
Let's do a Giga Link um, single player or player run. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is gonna be I'm gonna be getting buffs from boxes, but it's more on HP, not more on the damage side. Uh, I wanna I wanna leave off buffs from damage from ballistic and from skill damage, so that you can see how well she does si as solo with that build and how much damage she can do she can do. So if we don't have a boss here, um, if we don't have a armored boss here, we're gonna do a armored stage later just to showcase how she really really ignores armor and how. Armored units are going to really cry when she's in the field. Okay, so let us. Uh... No, just wanna go with HP. So as you do create voids, you just have to point. Just have to point wherever the enemy is. I have to wait for cooldown. So as you, sh uh, as, as you can see here, there is a circle. That's your enmity, guys. That's your enmity, um, what do you call this, meter. So, the only time that you, what do you call this, that you try to detonate, or you maxi you can actually maximize your detonation of these vortex, or, or these voids, is if the enmity meter is actually high. Uh, mostly, your, your enmity meter goes up, uh, for harder to kill units because they have more HP, there's more time to take that meter up. So we're gonna acquire HP here, just to increase survivability. So no buffs yet for um, in terms of uh, shooting people. So this is a good stage to have. So this is a wave after wave. Let's do a sample here. So if you just put. This is one of the tricks that I'd like to do with her. So, again, even without doing much shooting, you can actually kill them one by one. Apart from that person who got freed. So, waves actually have a very, very bad disadvantage against her. Because you can actually... Put out your voids uh, one at a time. As they move towards you, you create one so that as they pass by the void, they just die through damage over time, except for this guy. So I would suggest if you plan to detonate something or somebody that you first max out their enmity. Then you uh, for for that portion I didn't max it out, but again the detonation is actually decent. I would re I would also highly recommend that you before you detonate any enmity that you create um, three voids at least for maximum damage, and also maximize the bar for an enmity for a target. It usually applies to a boss, so. Let's say, for example, without the void, you can actually maximize the enmity just by shooting. But because of the damage that you're dealing, sometimes you end up killing them. That is why most of the maximum damage for your um, for your void would be done for bosses. So, so as you can see there, the let's do a detonation here. Okay. So that is how you play her. She's really, really fun to play with. Um, very versatile in terms of how you want to play. If you want to play the damage over time um, game, you can actually do that. Just wait for them to die. As you can see there. So, no. Please, just want to increase maximum capacity for my bullets so, so as you can see uh three seconds is, is a bit slow i sometimes feel that but it uh i tell you it's significant like here it's an armored unit you can actually detonate him later even without your void your 
enmity is actually dealing damage over time. See? So there are a lot of damages in our kit. The enmity, the void itself, um, your bullets. Because, again, although the damage, the ballistic damage is, is not that much, but the damage over time for the enmity is actually tremendous. So as you can see there, for damage over time, uh, around 2,000, 3,000. So you can't go wrong, actually, just by, you know, playing with these guys. They will die themselves. They'll eventually die just because of the damage over time. So as you can see there, not a problem. It's like playing with your food, actually. So I think she is fun. Fun factor is there. The OP factor is there, which I think is a no-brainer. It makes you more flexible when you try to use her. I haven't done any damage buffs, so just want to increase magazine capacity, HP, anything on HP, no. Reload speed, no. I'm going to do re reload speed. Okay, so hopefully we do have a boss here that is armored. Okay, armored boss. So this will ignore a lot of armor. So as you can see, you're really doing damage. Don't really need to take out the legs. Let's do a demo here for your... There you go. That is your support skill. It goes to slow. So let's do vortices here for continuous damage. I won't even destroy the legs anyway. So try to do the ultimate... Oh, went away. So now that the, his enmity is full, let us um, do a detonation here. Just one detonation. What happened to... It... You have to actually time your vortices. Your vortices, your voids carefully because there you go that big of a damage it's around 200,000 if it's full so I haven't destroyed the leg and yet the, he is actually um, turning into butter Let's do there you go detonated not a single leg destroyed, and yet armored units are defeated. So that is it, guys. Um, basically, my assessment for her, she is going to be good. Very, very good for mobs. She's going to be very, very good for bosses. She's going to be very, very good for stationary targets, especially, that don't move. Um, for bosses, she is going to be a handful because of the void because of the detonation you can either try to kill the boss through damage over time or through detonation just have to time the detonation um basically build up uh enmity for her um and she's good to go she's op guys she's going to be one of the best characters or, or operatives made so far so i do hope that you get her Especially if you're a beginner, um, she's actually very good. Now that we have already gotten a lot of uh, a lot of mob sweepers, she is probably one of the best up there, uh, if not the best at this point. So I would say she is better than life for mob clearing. Definitely, she is actually better than who? Um, even. I say I dare say she's even better than Haru for being all around. Um I would say that. I would say that at this point. Um damage over 10 with detonation damage, it's ridiculous. Um and I haven't even scratched um although I have built her well already, but 
uh, in terms of really really making sure that I have everything I don't have everything my devastation is at zero um, again she is a good free to play unit guys um, I bet even with her four star weapon she is actually still very good we gonna do a build guide after this but again my vote is on her please do get her especially if you're free to play especially if you're a beginner um, if you just started please do she's gonna make your life easier so that is it guys hopefully to see you in my build guide thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here